Hello everybody, it is your boy Twin Plays here back in our video. I hope you guys are doing amazing. Um, if you are new to my channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn on that post notifications. It means so much to me, everybody. Um, and also join the Discord while you're at it because we host giveaways there and we do help out new people who are um, in need of scripting and building help, everything like that, just general stuff. Um, so in the last video, we talked about the sign and uh, uh, boombox in this video we're gonna be talking about the booth customization now um i know you guys are probably like um okay there's a bunch of stuff what do i do go in the description grab the game and i kind of put this in the last video as well you'll just basically find the game there's three games you can click any of them hit edit or download whatever's easier and actually works for you guys and then you are going to publish it to your game like i said so um we're gonna be talking about boost customization now um, if you are wanting to test this out and you know work it, you're gonna go to settings in your game and you can do it in studio, whatever. Hit developer console down here, and you are going to go to the server and you're gonna type in game.players.yourname, okay? So it's been plays dead for me. Dot leader stats, and we're gonna do donated because it's the donated value, and then like that, and then you're gonna type in as much as you want. So we have one billion. Um, thanks to Dev Daniel. Um, he already did the donated. Um abbreviations um also i want to talk about that dev daniel is the one who's been making this game he did amazing job so feel free to give him a follow and check him out he's the one at our discord channel um he's amazing he did so much work for me and i didn't even like ask him to he just did it himself um so much love to him you guys and um yeah so basically when we go up to claim it now um we're gonna have our thing and you will be able to edit it and you'll be able to change this customizations like this now um the only thing is is it's a little hard to kind of edit it like a certain way so you're gonna I'm gonna show you in the scripts how you can do this but um, this is how it's gonna look and then we have a hundred K which is like this which is all bright neon um, and then of course since he is he is so smart he also made it so it'll go back to revert when you um, uh, unclaim it so that's about it that's the booth customization so let's get straight into the coding part of this um, now uh, it's not too bad I think if I'm right <laughs> So basically, um, I'm gonna search up change theme again, and we're going to go into the stands. Now, you're gonna have to do this for every stand, just remember. So if you wanna just make one stand and then um, duplicate it all over again to like change the color themes, then do that. But how it works is we have the change theme on server event. So we do have the GUI, like that one GUI we had. Um, I'll let you just actually open it up right here. And what we're gonna do is we are going to um, if see if they activated the buttons and if they did we are going to fire to the server the change theme okay and we're going to fire the player 1000 and 1000 is the value and then we get this so player theme and value so local boost is workspace.sans if they um, have enough for the value as in checking if the players dot donated value equals the value now if you did want to add um raised value you could too so you could make this say or um no you want to wait no you'd want to do this you'd want to make it if e pl equals player dot name then if player dot leader sets that donate value because greater than or equal to value or the the raised one then you can do that so if it's default then rainbow equals false so it looks like we have the rainbow one right here i think that's what the problem was um the rainbow was having a little trouble um this is what we would want to do um Oh, okay. No, it looks like he did do it right. So he just needs to add the script where uh, it changes everything to neon, but it changes the colors. That's what up. Okay. So what we're doing? Sorry. Let me get this to the point. And we have primary, secondary, territory, uh, sign title, sign prices. This is where you see this all right here. Now, actually, it's good for him. I bet it took him way too long for this. I didn't want to do it either. Um, it's all the name names. So as you can tell, so secondary is going to be these ones right here. Um, all the dark dark uh, yellow whatever uh, like mustard color then we have the primary which is going to be the more of the front part of it then we have the secondary of I mean the hereditary uh, which is uh, basically the lighter color so this is what you're doing right here he is changing it to these colors so this is the default color so keep this one this is the 1000 the secondary and the territory so if i wanted to change this to um what it actually was supposed to be was uh i think it was supposed to be gold but we didn't really do that right so um let's just do for 10,000. we can mess with it um we can go like a blue we can go like a 
a lighter blue like this and then we can go for right here this is the neon part we can go like a dark blue like that so we're changing the uh basically what it's doing is we're going and if we find one of these which is going to be primary right here secondary territory if we find that part we are going to change the material to neon then we are going to change its color as well that's what we're doing so pretty simple stuff right here um, with the changing the color now for the rainbow it looks like he did he missed the part of making it rainbow um i actually did a video on this with like the um with my lights like the rainbow changing lights and i might leave a script on the screen right now that will say how to just change it to rainbow but this is basically i he needs to I'll, I'll fix this probably soon here um but that's about it so and then we have the refresh event um, but yeah, so Dev Daniel added a lot of stuff. I guess I can go over it one more time. He added customization, um, back to row proxy, refresh, sign tool, no more crash issues, by the way, which is really nice. Uh, boom boxes, um, stand indicator, and, you know, loading speeds are better and everything like that. So Dev Daniel did an amazing job, and I just want to say thank you really much. Again, he, he did great. Um, I have a lot of more videos coming for you guys soon. If you were a little more confused, feel free to go watch the first two videos. That will explain much more about this. And, um, yeah, so that's, that's about it. Um, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and share. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.